hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Maya and thank you very much for clicking on today's video so today I'm going to be reviewing an eyeshadow palette I bought from Aliexpress now, I want to start a series on my channel called Maya finds on Aliexpress or Aliexpress finds and it will definitely be a playlist as well I'll definitely be creating a playlist out of such videos so in case you'd want to look for something on Aliexpress you can look for that playlist and you can find um, videos or things that I've probably reviewed or tried from Aliexpress and today um, we are going to start with the eye magic 35 color eyeshadow palette now this eyeshadow palette is a direct dupe of the Jaclyn Morphe Morphe X Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette and that is about 39 pounds and this eyeshadow palette is 10 pounds obviously i'm going to be putting the conversion um, in ghana city and dollars on the screen right now but this is what the eyeshadow looks like i hope this is focused and when you open it there's a mirror here obviously I, I don't know if you can see my setup but there is a mirror here and then when you open the mirror there is this like sort of rubber and I think one of the things I like about the eyeshadow palette is I really like eyeshadow palettes that have like the names of the eyeshadow instead of it being at the back and then you'd have to you know if you want to know the name of the color or mention the color you have to look at the back which is very confusing but you can see this is a very nice eyeshadow palette and I'm also going to I'm also going to leave a video in uh, the description box where um, what's her name Tammy Tammy Clark if you watch beauty videos here you definitely know Tammy Clark one of the biggest beauty vloggers on here and um, she did a side-by-side -side review with the Jaclyn Hill palette which is a $39 and then with this one and honestly the color payout on both eyeshadow is the same and it was insane because especially finding this on Aliexpress and for the price point I, I was not expecting like the results she achieved on there but anyway enough of the rumbling also one more thing i just have what do i have on my eyes as eyeshadow primer so if you watch if you also watched my previous video which was the how to cut your crease 101 um i talked about um using um, a regular concealer if you do not have a what's it called if you do not have a p louise base or the nyx and i mentioned that i'm going to be using this on another video the maybelline fits me on another video well this is the video we are going to be testing it out and you can see it's almost as white not definitely this is kind of giving me like beige correct me if i'm wrong but it's not as white as the p louise base so but it works honestly it works and you are going to see it on this video so we are going to start out i want to i don't even know the kind of eyeshadow look i want to achieve with this we are going to start out with the shade maple and i'm going to use shade the maple as my transition shade that that will go a little bit over my crease line so this is my crease line you can see that even the um eyeshadow primer or um, maybelline concealer is a bit creased so this is my crease and i and i have a bit of a hooded eye so like this is my crease line so i'm going to apply it above here so i'm going to go in with maple and you can see and this is just like one one dab oh. And it's very pigmented. There's no, I'm not experiencing a lot of fallout and it is blending very well as well. I forgot to mention about the delivery. So it took um, a week. I took like, let's say, yeah, a week and a few days to get to the country I am in. If you don't know, I am in Poland and I bought this from china 
obviously nowadays in aliexpress i've noticed that in some of the stores you can choose warehouse in europe but they, i didn't get this eyeshadow palette from a warehouse in europe usually if you're able to get a warehouse in europe your item will be delivered very fast but it was from the warehouse this was from was from china and the delivery was very very fast i would say i got it within a week but because of corona like customs it took time a whole lot but the seller communicated with me throughout all i got the palette and this video is no way sponsored so i'm going to go in with the shade claret here And then I'm going to go back into staple and then marry the two. And then I'm going to put a little bit of concealer here. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Diamond. I think one of the reasons why I'm not experiencing fallout is because of the um, water I sprayed in my brush which is why I'm not experiencing like a lot of fallout but what I've realized is how it looks in the pan is not good because of the water I added to the brush and I'm using it to pick the um, colors but it's doing the job I feel like it's going to break but we will see so I'm going to finish the rest of my face as always and then I'll come and give you my final verdict on this eyeshadow palette I'm back with the finished look and I had a little bit of trouble when I was putting on my eyelash so this part of my eyeshadow is a bit messed up so oh oh god but anyway I was able to save it I don't know if it will be visible on camera when I'm editing I'll see that if it is I'm very sorry but my final thoughts on the product is that for the price point it actually delivers um it's better to get this nine pound than to go and buy a whole eyeshadow palette which is like 39 pounds which i may do but don't do that <laughs> but anyway i'll also leave, leave a link of the video where tammy was you know uh where tammy reviewed both of the palettes which is the jackman hill palette and the eye magic palette side by side and then you can also make a decision better whether you want to go with a 39 pound or a nine pound the decision is yours thank you very much for watching the video you know what to do already subscribe comment and share and i'll see you in my next video bye